He says, also from among yourselves, men will rise up speaking perverse things to draw away the disciples after themselves. As we get closer to the return of Christ, Paul even said in his letter to Timothy, men will not put up with sound doctrine, but they will gather around them a great number of teachers who will tell them what their itching ears want to hear. And so he warns the spiritual leaders in Ephesus. This is a, a strong warning for us too. He says, it's not just opposition from without. There's going to be opposition from within. There's going to be division even within the church of Jesus Christ. Men will distort the truth. They will pervert it to draw away disciples after themselves. It is happening. I, I hate to be in the habit of doing this kind of thing, but I, I have to just say it because to give an example of how this is happening, Andy Stanley, ladies and gentlemen, at North Point Church in Atlanta, Andy Stanley is hosting this fall at his church. He's hosting it at his church, and he's one of the speakers. It's called Unconditional Conference. And among the other speakers, in addition to himself, are two men who are married to men. And it is a gay-affirming conference. Every single speaker on the docket is gay-affirming. Bringing it into the church, it is perverse. It is perverse. This is exactly the kind of thing that Paul is calling out here. Churches that hang the rainbow flags outside of their churches, that's perverse. Churches that don't hold to the inerrancy of Scripture as the infallible inspired Word of God, that is perverse. Churches that substitute biblical justice for social justice, it's perverse. Churches that tolerate and celebrate sin under the banner that God is love, that's perverse. And it's all happening from within. And so we have to be on our guard. In fact, that's the way Paul concludes everything in verse 31. In verse 31, he says, therefore, watch. It's the Greek word Gregorio. It means be sober, be vigilant, pay attention. Watch, he says, and remember that for three years, I did not cease to warn you night and day with tears. 